Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Molly. With Virtuoso Builders here in San Antonio, Texas, and welcome to another edition of Behind, Behind the, the Drywall. Wall. So today we are at a very special place. We're not at uh, behind the drywall in terms of one of our projects, but we are at a very critical place that is at every one of our projects. And we're at Michael Edwards Cabinetry today. And we're here with Mike S and Mike T. And we're Mike'd up. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. <laughs> And he is a sales manager with Michael Edwards Cabinetry and our point person for everything cabinets. It's all custom. Yes. They do our kitchens, the bathroom vanities, uh, linen closets, everything in a, a master bedroom, regular bedroom, closets, pantries, you name it. Um, and for our purposes, we're just, we just do the remodels but y'all do new construction and remodels, so yes. it's, it's, it's the whole, that's the whole thing. So what, from our process to handing the baton sure. to Mike. So if you've seen our videos before, you, you know how our process is. We go from obviously the meeting and once we get the final construction documents, at that point, that's when we hand them over to Mike Tarantino for all the, the mill work or the cabinetry work. And so at that point, Mike, what is it that you kind of run with sure so the first thing we're going to do is take the plans that mike and molly have provided and then we draw them up in our software it's called cabinet vision and then uh, we'll typically have a meeting uh, here at the office and what we'll do in the meeting uh, with uh, our computers and project on a screen we kind of actually do live design and make changes during the meetings uh, to make sure the clients get the designs they want um, we do typically do that all inside the meeting uh, from that point we work on pricing and, and and colors and things like that which we'll talk about in a second and then what we do is we go out and measure, um, kind of probably have at least one more meeting, you think? Yeah. 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 Yep. And then uh, refine the drawings, make sure it gets signed off, and then we put them into production. So. That's the fun part, I think, for our clients is when they see you kind of taking yeah. the cabinets and moving them around and seeing them from every aspect. It's fun for me, but then they get to pick all the features that go inside the cabinets and really make it their own. Um, and then you know, you've got everything from the uber modern to yep. traditional. Anything. And we, ours is, everything we do is custom. So we're usually like, hey, Mike, do you have <laughs> this and maybe this color? Pretty much they can, they can yep. do everything. And we've got, you took, put some samples sure. out. So these are just. Yeah, so these are some, some very popular door styles. Today kind of. Great color. Um, the best doors to kind of use in design today, I would say, are called flat panel doors, right? That's where the center is not raised, right? We do all different kinds of inside and outside profiles. So this is a typical run of doors that we would do that are very attractive That's and pretty. very popular. Yeah. We can also do more traditional doors, which are raised panel doors. That's where the center is actually raised, right? Don't do a lot of this anymore. Most of the people are gravitating towards flat panels. Uh, another thing you're going to pick with me here is crown molding. So crown molding is something that goes up at the top of the cabinets, right? Um, and that's kind of the two selections that we pick here together are door style and crown type. So we have several different kinds of crown, uh, all the way from traditional to more transitional to modern. So that's the selections we would typically be making here uh, so at the showroom. When it, these are some really, really cool colors. I know we get a lot of white, mm -hmm. um, but then every now and then we'll get, you know, especially with these really pretty blues or even like a darker blue. So I know that you can do any custom color blue and then there's some that are more common. Yep. So we've got a whole, well, I say we. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Edwards has a great sample, so we'll show you those. So follow yep. us over here, and there's different wood species as well. That's correct. So typically when we bid a job, we bid it in paint grade or knotty alder stain. So our base bids come as paint grade. These are all paint grade colors. We have several different um, racks of colors. These are our most popular colors. Not all the colors we can do. Sherwin-Williams actually makes our product. It's a chemical coating called conversion varnish. 
So it's not actually paint, it's a higher level of finish. Um, these are all the, the pretty popular ones. The things that are really popular today that we're seeing a lot is white is back, gray still in a little bit, blues and dark colors are seem to be very popular so far. So on this side, we have the stain colors, our, our normal stain colors. Everything here is on Naughty Alder. That's our typical wood we stain. The other woods we can also do are hickory, white oak, cherry, um, maple, whatever you want. So yeah, I, I, we were having a meeting the other day with another client and uh, we were trying to determine what kind of wood to use, um, but then really it had to do with the stain. So in other words, like Michael really will suggest the wood depending on the stain because some wood you really shouldn't stain much. And so if you're going with a, a dark color, why get this grade of wood when you're going to cover up the natural beauty of the wood? So his, his knowledge and expertise and really helping the client to determine what is the best fit is, is invaluable. The samples are great too yep. because you can take the samples or if they don't have one here and we said we want this specific color or this stain, we can take that sample, which we just are doing right now, yep. and take that around and match it with the flooring and the countertops and everything. It's just really, really, you'll make it so easy. We try. We try. So easy. So, got some other, I guess, selections that are becoming a little bit more popular now are the uh, acrylics. Acrylics right? for European cabinetry. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, that's if uh, face frame cabinetry is the predominant cabinets we do here in San Antonio. So, these materials are for what we call European cabinets, right? So, this is a product we get from Spain, right? and very high-end and very uh, modern, contemporary, right? So we have all different colors. Ooh. Oh, wow. There's different woods, um, different finishes, textured, smooth, high gloss, matte, no gloss. This, uh, we, we're trying to, to span the gamut from traditional to uber contemporary, so. Yeah, and they've done this down. both for us, so we know that, that it works. From, typically you'll see these, where it's just, by modern, it's like the slab. It's almost like the whole thing's seamless. Yep. Whereas the more traditional, it's broken up a little bit and you'll see a little bit more of the frame. It just depends on the look that people want. Yeah, yeah. But, everything is custom. Uh, that is our big thing, is we try to make sure that whatever we're all doing is for you, the client, and it's your house and your project. So if, you know, you're not into the whites and grays and then we say okay they want it in indigo then we could do indigo which yeah, they, they are doing do. for us <laughs> yeah What's also i think really i just nice picked, too picked is, up a sample um, all the little gadgets that they can do whether it's uh, uh, appliance holders or spice cabinets or spice doors yeah. or rollouts or um uh charging stations within a drawer uh, you, if you can imagine it mike t yeah. here at, at michael edwards cabinetry can do it and they've done it for us and we throw them loops all the time and they have they, no problem, they take care of it. So yeah. yep. we're here and, and we make everything here. Right. So yeah. our right. factory is located at 6305 Campolis Road. Um, we have about 200 employees, uh, all our own installers, finish teams, finish crews work very hard to, uh, to not only make the cabinets, but have great relationships with our clients and our, our customers um, because repeat business is the thing that keeps everybody going. It so. is so cool that it's all right here. It's everything here. happens right here. So it's, the handoff is literally from us to you and then yeah. you into production and yep. then the whole team. Um, and there's there's a whole well, lot going on <laughs> cool right two feet there. from here <laughs> where all the action happens, all the cabinets get yep. made and fabricated. And um, so back there, we're not going back there because it's a little bit loud. And a little loud. It's, yeah, it's a, how big <laughs> is the warehouse? It's, uh, 110,000 square foot. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot going on in yeah. there. So you'll probably see a little bit of footage going on through this video, but it's it's nonstop. It's nonstop. Yeah. yeah. It's a great operation. And of course, we, uh -huh. we really appreciate Mike letting us do our video here today. Yeah. And hopefully y'all have learned a little bit of something, but also see the, the cabinet maker that we like to use that does all of our projects and how they operate and basically make our job easier. <laughs> and that's what they do. Um, so
So again, thanks, Mike, for, for letting us be here. And thanks for letting me be on your show. And, yeah. and I'm sure he could talk about it for another four or five hours and all the little ins and outs of it. But, and you could too. And I could too, but <laughs> we only have this much time. So yeah, I've been in meetings. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it goes. Oh, that's all right, though. We like that. Um, but thank you so much for joining us on Behind the Drywall and. Of course, if you like what you're seeing, then share it with others, like, and then uh, let us know if there's anything that you wanna see special, um, we'd be happy to. And then next time you'll see us at one of the job sites that we're getting started on. Actually, next week. Next week. Start on that. that so. They're doing as well. All yes. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank, so, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.